The colossal impact is an idea that has outlined how we could translate the universe, framing the supporting of current cosmology as indicated by Einstein's theory, also known as coarse perusing cosmology. The tremendous impact was the second the universe started its advancement, demonstrating the making of all matter, energy, and presence. This event happened commonly 13.8 billion years ago and incited the huge universe we notice today. However, late enhancements in cosmology propose that the titanic impact no doubt wasn't indisputably the start. Rather, there could have been a phase before the immense blast that was equivalently basic in forming the universe as far as we may be concerned. This pre-period is known as boundless development. Improvement is perhaps one of the most fascinating bits of present-day cosmology. It proposes that before the hot, thick season of the gigantic impact, the universe went through an extraordinarily fast, profound advancement. During this period, the universe was expanding in size at a stunning rate. To definitively address how absurd this augmentation was, assuming the universe started more modest than a particle, it would have reached out to be immensely greater than the whole detectable universe inside a minute piece of a second, around one quadrillionth of a second. This expansion stage didn't last long, but it was a critical part in shaping the universe. At the point when the inflationary stage finished, the energy driving this expansion was released into space, warming it up and making the particles of matter that make up all that we track down in the universe in various ways. Improvement is the trailblazer to what we consider the monstrous impact. While the speculation of augmentation is for the most part acknowledged in cosmology today, various unanswered questions remain. For example, we don't yet comprehend what started development, what compelled it to stop, or how long it persevered. These are open requests in cosmology, and answering them is significant for a deeper understanding of the origin of the universe. Before development, the universe was in a marvelously thick, small spot of issue, often alluded to as a singularity. From this singularity, Development began and eventually led to the formation of molecules, particles, stars, and galaxies. The plausibility of the Big Bang as the beginning of everything is compelling, but modern cosmology proposes a more complicated picture. Some hypotheses suggest that the universe went through a stage before the gigantic impact. During this stage, expansion made the universe develop at a fantastic rate extending in size by almost a trillion times in a small fraction of a second. This fast expansion was powered by an odd form of energy that entered void space. Exactly when inflation finished, the energy that had driven this development was converted into particles, warming the universe and provoking the hot, thick state we call the Big Bang. This inflationary stage was cold and void, but it set the stage for the creation of matter and, ultimately, the universe we see today. One of the more hypothetical considerations in present-day cosmology is the possibility of immortal inflation. This theory suggests that inflation didn't shut down at the same time. Rather, it ended in patches, creating a large number of pockets, each of which could be a universe in its own right. Our universe would be only one of these patches. According to eternal inflation, there could be an infinite number of these universes, each with its own set of physical laws and constants. This is where the plausibility of the multiverse becomes an essential variable. That our universe may be one of many, or indeed, even a perpetual number of universes. If this thought turns out to be right, it would explain why our universe is so finely tuned for life. In this multiverse scenario, each possible combination of physical laws could exist in different universes, and we end up living in one where conditions are ideal for stars to form and for carbon, oxygen, and various elements crucial for life to exist. While theories like eternal inflation and the multiverse remain speculative, the chance of inflation itself is grounded in observational evidence. The most powerful support for inflation comes from the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, the oldest light in the universe. The CMB was emitted around 380,000 years after the Big Bang when the universe had cooled enough for molecules to form. By then, the universe became transparent, and this light has been traveling through space ever since. By studying the CMB, cosmologists can essentially take a snapshot of the universe. The light provides clues about the universe's earliest days, helping scientists understand what occurred shortly after the Big Bang and offering support for the inflationary model. 
One of the most significant discoveries came from the European Space Agency's Planck satellite, which took detailed images of the CMB. These pictures reveal tiny variations in the temperature of the early universe, and these variations match the predictions made by inflationary theory. This preliminary evidence strengthens the idea that inflation isn't just a speculative hypothesis, but a vital part of how we understand the universe's origins. Sorting out the Big Bang and what went before it requires bringing together two of the primary theories in modern physical science. Einstein's theory of general relativity and quantum theory. General relativity describes the large-scale structure of the universe, including the motion of galaxies, stars, and planets while quantum theory describes the behavior of particles on the smallest scales. To answer the big questions in cosmology, such as what lies at the core of the universe and where it came from, researchers must develop a theory that combines these two frameworks. This would allow us to understand not just the Big Bang itself, but also all the conditions that led to it. One of the most surprising features of the universe is its size. The most distant objects we can see are around 47 billion light-years away meaning the observable universe is about 94 billion light-years across. This might seem odd, given that the universe is only 13.8 billion years old. How could the observable universe be larger than the time it would take light to cross it in the age of the universe? The answer lies in the fact that the universe has been expanding over time. As the universe grows, the distance between objects increases, making distant objects farther away than the time it would take light to reach us. Most scientists believe that the universe stretches far beyond the observable universe. In fact, it's possible that the entire universe is limitless in size. The observable universe is simply the part we can see, limited by how long light has had to travel since the Big Bang. There may be vast regions of the universe that we will never be able to observe. While it's possible the universe is infinite, the question remains. Is there anything beyond the universe? Most scientists feel somewhat uncertain about this idea. If the universe is infinite, there is no outside to it. The universe would essentially continue indefinitely. Whether or not the universe is finite, it probably doesn't make sense to discuss anything beyond it. Beyond would imply something outside space, which itself is a property of the universe. So, the concept of beyond the universe likely doesn't have any meaningful physical significance. Just as the origin of the universe is a subject of great study, so too is its inevitable end. The best current theory is that the universe will continue to expand indefinitely. This is attributed to a mysterious phenomenon known as dark energy, which is causing the universe's expansion to accelerate. Before the discovery of dark energy, scientists believed that the universe's expansion would eventually slow down due to the gravitational pull of matter. There was even a possibility that the universe could stop expanding and begin contracting, leading to a major collapse crunch. However, dark energy seems to be pushing the universe apart increasingly fast. If this acceleration continues, the universe will continue to grow endlessly, ultimately arriving at a state where galaxies float so far apart that they become segregated from one another. In this situation, the universe would become cold, dull, and exhausted. Stars would wear out, worlds would float apart, and matter would ultimately rot. This is referred to as the big freeze or heat death of the universe. The narrative of the universe, from the enormous blast to its conceivable end, is one of the most critical and complex stories in science. While we've learned an extraordinary amount about the starting points of the universe through the hypothesis of expansion and the investigation of the vast microwave background, many inquiries remain unanswered. What caused expansion to start and end? What lies beyond the noticeable universe? Is there a multiverse? And if so, how many other universes exist? As researchers continue to focus on the universe utilizing advanced technology and hypotheses that bind together quantum mechanics with general relativity, we will, without a doubt, gain deeper insights into these mysteries. The journey to comprehend the universe is continuous and every discovery brings us one bit closer to answering the extreme questions about our existence. The investigation of the universe's beginnings and structure isn't simply a scientific attempt. It also raises philosophical inquiries about existence, reality, and our position in the universe. One significant area of interest in cosmology is the nature of dark matter, which is believed to make up around 27% of the universe's mass energy content. 
Unlike normal matter, dark matter doesn't radiate, absorb, or reflect light, making it imperceptible and perceptible only through its gravitational consequences for visible matter. It is essential to figure out dark matter to make sense of the development and behavior of universes. Progressing studies and observations have provided insights into dark matter's properties, but its exact nature remains elusive. Several candidates have been proposed, including weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, axions, and other exotic particles. However, up until this point, no direct proof of dark matter particles has been found. The search goes on through a mix of terrestrial trials, astrophysical observations, and simulations that model how dark matter impacts the large-scale structure of the universe. One more key area of exploration is dark energy, the mystery of the power driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. Dark energy contains around 68% of the universe's total mass energy content. Its revelation was surprising and has led to numerous hypotheses, including the cosmological constant and dynamic fields like quintessence. Figuring out dark energy is crucial, as it will decide the extreme fate of the universe. Researchers are concentrating on its impacts on cosmic structures and attempting to determine whether it remains consistent over time or evolves. In addition to dark matter and dark energy, the study of large-scale structure development offers huge insights into the universe's history. Observations of the cosmic web, a vast network of galaxies, clusters, and filaments, have revealed how matter clusters together, influenced by gravity, leading to the complex structures we see today. Simulations run on supercomputers help specialists understand how these structures formed over billions of years and continue to evolve. Astrobiology, moreover, intersects with cosmology as researchers strive to figure out the conditions necessary for life beyond Earth. The search for exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system, has intensified, with thousands found in recent years. Some of these exoplanets exist in their stars' habitable zones, where conditions might be right for liquid water to exist. By studying these distant worlds, Researchers hope to learn more about the potential for life elsewhere in the universe and the factors that make a planet conducive to life. Finally, the role of theoretical physics in cosmology cannot be overstated. The quest for a unified theory that combines general relativity and quantum mechanics continues to challenge physicists. Theories like string theory and loop quantum gravity aim to connect these two areas, offering explanations for phenomena like black holes and the early universe. As technology advances, so does our ability to observe and interpret vast phenomena. Space telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are revolutionizing how we observe the universe by providing phenomenal detail of distant galaxies and cosmic events. With each groundbreaking observation, we move closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe's origin, evolution, and ultimate fate. The examination of the universe is a rich tapestry of scientific inquiry and philosophical reflection. From the fundamental forces that shape large-scale structures to the search for extraterrestrial life, our investigation is a testament to humankind's enduring curiosity about the universe as we endeavor to answer these profound questions. In doing so, we gain a deeper appreciation for the immensity and complexity of the universe.